Okay, so let's uh, kick off with uh, question one. Looks more scary than it actually is. We've got a beam AB, three planks glued together. I've kind of formed this um, I-type beam on symmetric, um, and it has these joints here are being glued together. Determine the average shear and stress in each of the joint. The, the location of the centroid of the section in the figure is given in the figure. So they've told us the centroid location. They've told us I, so I don't have to work that out. What else? Got the widths, slightly different width, top and bottom. <coughs> what do I need to solve this? Nice symmetric beam there, so you can see just by inspection that your force here is going to be 1.5 kilonewtons, 1.5, it's all symmetrical in that sense. So I don't even need to sketch a shear force diagram. <coughs> Uh, did it actually tell me whether I want to do it? So we can just take it as red that we just want um, this sort of anywhere along the along this plank. So it's quite a straightforward problem then. Um, let's just write out the form that we're looking for. So I'm um, looking for the the average uh, shear stress across the width. So that then, that's what I mean by the average shearing stress at each joint. <coughs> that's going to be given by uh, VQIT by inspection. V I know to be 1.5 kilonewtons. If I was going to sketch the shear force diagram, which I don't need to, it would look like what? It would go up 1.5, then it drops 1.5 moves along, drops 1.5, goes back up. And we are looking at the shear force in this section here. <coughs> so that's that, so the, I know the, the V. What about the Q? Um, right, so for the Q, what we want to do there is we've got the our beam looks a bit like this so we're interested in how this plank is attached to this plank <coughs> so it's therefore going to be this top section how it's attached to this bottom section so that is in effect my area so my Q uh, for the top one will be given as the centroid where's my calculator uh, the centroid here so that will be to get to the middle there is 10 millimeters. <coughs> the neutral axis is at 68.3 millimeters. So to get from here to here, the is going to be what? Um, right, so 
from this distance to this distance is going to be 80 for the, this bit and then 20 for this bit, so that's 100. <coughs> so that means this distance here is going to be 100. Take away 68.3. Okay, so that distance from there to there <coughs> is 31.7 and then I need to add on this distance here to get to the centroid so that's going to be 41.7 so Q will be Y bar times by the area of the section we're interested in so that is um, I suppose uh, let's work in SI units. 31 plus 10 divided by 1000. Okay, now the area of my thing is going to be 100 width times 20 divided by a million. Okay, because times 10 to the minus 3, times 10 to the minus 3. So that gives me a Q of 8.34 times 10 to the minus 5. I were made sure that was an SI unit, so that's going to be meters cubed. Notice the first time we mentioned units, I think, so meters cubed. The I, we've been told, we've been given that in meters as well, so that's... 8.63 times 10 to the minus 6 meters to the power 4 and make sure that I change this into a thousand and then I've got everything so your shear for the top section well actually one thing I haven't got is the width <coughs> so we've got 1500 We've got 8.34 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 8.63 times 10 to the minus 6. And what do you think we take for the width? Now obviously we take it where the two sections are being glued together. So that will be the smaller width there. So that will be... 20 times 10 to the minus 3. <coughs> so for the top section there, it's going to be, you can use that number, times by 1500 divided by 8.63 times 10 to the minus 6 times by 30 doing all divided by 20 times 10 to the minus 3. So that's a stress. So 724.8 kilopascals, or if you prefer, you could do um, Newton meter squared. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's for the top joint. What about for the bottom one? Right, so from here to here is 68.3. This section is 20. So basically, uh, to get to the bottom, y, the Y bar is going to be 58.3. So let's, uh, we know the V already, so Q is different. Actually, that's the only thing that's going to be different. T is going to be the same. So what's the Q this time? So the Q will be 58.3 times 10 to the minus 3. Yeah, so it's that, that 68 take away 10 uh, times by the area. 
and the area of this thing is what? It's got a width of 60. So we've got 60 times by 20. Okay. So 58.3 so minus 3 times by 60 times 20 divided by a million. So this time we've got Q equals 6.996 times 10 to the minus 5 meters cubed compared to before which was 8.3. Uh, Alright, so all the other numbers are going to be the same. We've got 1500 times by 6.996 to the minus 5. <coughs> the i doesn't change. 8.63 to the minus 6. And the again, the adjoining area, if you like, the width of the joining area is still 20 millimeters. Press the edge button and then I get 608 kilopascals. Okay, so that's uh, question 5.1.